Welcome back everybody to my time at Porsche with Raven. We are heading out into our yard. We're going to create some wood before we completely run out of stuff uh, because we, we didn't get enough normal wood but we got a bunch of hardwood and that should be enough to save our bacon for a little bit longer. Hopefully without getting rid of all our hardwood. I just went right past it didn't I? I did. There it is. I noticed this is the one thing that I didn't see in the factory was the wood. All right, now we have a thousand wood. That'll that'll keep us going for a little bit longer. Let us check the um, the mail from the research center. Hello, we found something useful in the data disk you brought in yesterday. There's a lot of information for us to go through, and we'll mail you the results within one day. Oh, so good. I know, I love halving the, the, the time. I don't know why I never did it before. All right, we now have, let's gather that. That's the hard aluminium. We might be able to clear, um, we might be able to clear the mission for Carol. Let's just check and see what we've got. Okay, hard aluminium, steel plate, sewing head, advanced engine, bearings. Ah. Oh, Wait a minute, I think I left them on the on the thing. Let's go and see. Oh, look at that. I know, you know what though? Now that we're over here and we know we're out of bearings, we, we need to craft a bunch more. And I'm looking at my tin alloy. We just used up most of that tin alloy that we, that we created. So we're going to need a few more of that. Okay, let us do the thing we desperately need to do most which is refuel all our burners and get them running again because we were a little bit slack and we didn't get to them in time and I think we've lost a whole day of production with these little tiny ones. We might also, if things ease up long enough, I might make some, you know, a burner to replace each of these because I don't think I'm going to be able to stop crafting, um, oh, what do you call those things? Crafting the steel, the carbon steel. I don't think I'm going to be able to stop crafting it um, for very long. And so what we might do is we might actually need four big burners for this or four not so big burners. Um, because I mean we're barely keeping up with the charcoal as it is. You know, we've only got 59 and these big burners they chew through it. And granted they don't cook things for as fast as, as um, as we as as we can make the carbon steel but they certainly they certainly use a lot of it right working on max for that let's go with this one see our charcoal is already dropping like a stone i might just have to switch we'll, we'll grab this one and we'll switch it over to charcoal as well so this is what i mean i think we're going to really need to, to make four more burners. Uh, have a look, we've already gone through 500, 500 of our um, of our wood already. That's just because we've got two lots of charcoal. I've got 44. I'm, I might just craft 10. We'll add 10 to the pile rather than the max. Because I have a feeling we're going to need some some of those steel blocks really soon. I don't want to be I don't want to be out of them. All right, tin alloy. We we need more because we need more bearings. Let's make another tin. Let's just have a look. We've got tin ore and lead ore. All right, we'll refuel that while we're here. Technically, I could skimp on it, but we won't. Um, we're gonna get this to do some carbon steel bars but I might actually upgrade it because that would mean if I make four more of these big beasties we're going to need four more of the little beasties to go with it um, all right but before we make anything else oh and I needed the hardened clay that's why yes Alright, so I can now make a second one of these, but I don't really have anywhere to put it. 
So what we might do is we might finish Carol's mission and then we might go fishing because I think I, I think we're just going to yeah oh rubber belts and oh, no, I did make some okay because I think otherwise we're going to run out of space and like so desperately also need to expand this uh, this particular piece of equipment here so yeah all right what did I need steel plate hard aluminium advanced engine rubber belt bearings and sewer heads sewing heads all right steel plate hard aluminium where did my steel plate go oh, not where I wanted it to all right If I do this, I think my steel plate's gonna. Oh no, it didn't vanish. That's good. Let's just put our wood away. So we dump that and that and that and that. That's so much better. Ingredients mining. We're gonna need our bearings. Let's not put those away. Right, I don't think I need anything out of that box. I could be really wrong. I didn't need chips. Okay, I have completely forgotten what I need now. Hard aluminium, advanced engines, rubber belts. Okay, so advanced engine, rubber belt, and sewing head. You gotta admire Petra, she managed to not put the chips back into it. Uh, that's an industrial. Right, there's my rubber belts. There's my advanced engine and my sewing head. We're good to go. Let's get this done. Three rubber belts and four for our advanced engines and five for our sewing head, six for our bearings, seven for our steel plate and eight our aluminium plate. Oh my giddy aunt, look at that. It's an episode for finishing important missions, I think. Here we go. Okay. Alright, I also want to make sure I have space in my backpack for fishing, and we're going to have to go after Goliaths, even though we've got them before. Pretty sure Carol is going to be down. It with her store, so we'll just take the DD. There we go. Hey, wow, how you this doing? Is a lot bigger than the sewing machine I had. I'll need to figure out some room to place it. I can help Thank you. Thank you so much for your help. Now I can get back to my work. You're welcome. Oh, right. You know what else we haven't done? We have not got our Commerce Commission for the day. Let's go and grab that. We cannot miss it, otherwise, we're, you know, we won't be able to continue growing our reputation and all the advantage we get of doing the commissions will be lost of doing the special commissions. All right, what did Higgins leave us? Okay, Linen rugs, which we can get the ingredients for now. That's 100 rep points and 984 gold. 100 rep points and 1204. Three waterproof cloth. You know what? I've got that in the bag. We'll go and grab that right now. And we get to hear Alice's voice. She has, like, a new voice, according to the last update. Oh, not, yeah, so this is, I think, it's my third episode with the, the new voices in. I don't think I... All right. So this is one of the reasons why I was doing the, um, just all of that prep with the cloth. Just simply because it's easier when you start getting these requests to have it sitting to one side. All right, crafting. Uh-oh, did I make it? Yes, I did. Oh, I'm not going crazy after all. You know what? We need to make some belts for Remy. I think I can make them now. I can make one. Because oh, it needs hard aluminium. 
and I need more quality leather. All right. Um, and while we're here, I think we'll make some pots and some buckets. So let's grab... I might make 10 just to start with. I know, this is where all my backpack space goes. It goes on gifts. Buckets, I think, are in furniture. Asteria pots for Albert. Uh, water buckets. All right. I know it's look it's been it's about time we got down to doing the gifting and making friends so um did I train my llama today I don't think I did Mr. McD hey, hey. My Rambo is going to win the title of Mr. Bull this year. Uh-huh. You can bet on it. Okay. I have brought one of your favorite things with me. It is a bucket for your Rambo. How thoughtful of you. I really like it. You're really welcome. Let's go find Granny Sophie and give her her favorite thing. Hi. Hi. Emily loves my home cooking. She does. She talks about it all the time. I have a bucket for you. Oh, thank you so much. I really like it. You're really welcome. All right. I know. This is this is the we're buttering everybody up section of of it. Normally I've been doing this for a while. I just have neglected so far to do it. Let us. Who is here? Okay, Russo. Gail has been planning the Portier Bridge for a long time. I do believe it will be the key to the future prosperity of our city. All right, let me just grab Em. Hi, Emily. Uh, fruit salad. I'm not making you that right now, but I can, although I have to make a bunch of it in a while. It smells too good to eat. You're welcome. All right. Uh, oh, where did Russo go? There he is. Hi. Hi. Uh, for you, I have a coffee table. Thank you so much. I really like it. You're really welcome. Uh, oaks. I hey. have some mushroom stew. Wow. Thank you for thinking about me. You're welcome. Uh, Phyllis. Hey. I don't have her favorite thing, but I do have something she likes. Where are they? Oh no. I must have put the talisman in the in the bags at some time. Alright. We're gonna have to go get our talisman out. Sorry, Phyllis, I do have something for you, just not right now. Mr. Ack. Hi. Hey! How you doing? I'm learning more and more about the world from Petra. You are. I'm so glad she's spending time with you. Um I can only offer you a pot. You're very welcome, Mr. Ack. Alright, we were we were on our way to see Alice. I can't give Ardit something either, because I, I left my... I seriously, I thought I had them on me. No, I must have popped them away. That's okay. Hello. Hi, Alice. I have your commerce commission. Please don't hose me. <laughs> you're welcome. Hey, please wait. I don't know where you're going, but I figured you'd like a necklace. You're really welcome. Okay, uh, where am I going? Alright, I'm going to go see whoever that is and see what they want. That must be Sam. Actually, I have a waste pack for Sam. We can give her that while we're here. Hey, Sam. Hi. Hi. Special salmon. Yeah, not happening right now, but I do have your other favorite gift. Is that? Yeah. Wow, I like it. You're welcome. Alrighty. Uh, and Remy, I have a belt. We might as well get rid of the belt as well. So we're clearing out our backpack space. Hi. He sees me and runs this man. I don't know what's wrong with what I've done to upset him. Thank you. Never You're expected welcome. you to give me this. All right, he's become my buddy. Okay, now we're going fishing. <laughs> Oh, I know. That was. This is the long way to fishing. 
but there's no there's no bus stop out here and we, we're not able to put one in so what i'm going to do see i can't make special salmon fried rice without salmon so here we're going to go get some salmon oh we're going to get some poop as well and some wheat seeds awesome I, you know these llamas have the most interesting diet rightio we have finished our missions we have finished our commerce commissions and now we can go fishing just grab my fishing rod and pop it down there i'll just move all of these things up here i know we probably won't see our fish though because they'll go into here but that's fine we we need sixty thousand g which means i mean 10 of these things is three thousand so we need 200 goliaths i think unless we can catch some kings in which case if we we only need oh what is it so all right well there's our special salmon fried rice let's just drag that thing in so 10 of them gives us 3000 20 of them gives us sorry 10 of them gives us 3000 100 gives us 30000 200 gives us 60000 uh kingfish are worth 5000 each man who is making me do math 5000 what's 60 okay so we only need 12 kingfish you know i'm not sure if we would catch oops i need some bait man i forgot to check my bait i'm not sure if we would catch 12 kingfish before we caught 200 goliath i would i would like to think that we would catch 12 kingfish before we caught 200 goliath um i know this is the nearest dd stop i'm just trying to work out if it wouldn't have been quicker for me to run all the way back but i think this is probably a little bit quicker if we go over to here grab this dd we need to get to granny sophie's before she closes and i completely forgot to buy fish we are we're just going to buy a thousand worms or as close to as we can get fish I, I completely forgot to buy bait man i know what i'm trying to say the um there are two more dd stops that we're going to need to put up out here but we haven't we haven't hit the story progress to get to them yet so we're just going to have to yeah i don't think we would have made it to granny sophie's before before she closed if we'd had to run all the way back all right we need a bunch of worms like a really big bunch of worms let's okay that's that's not so bad i guess uh, i am gonna buy some of this before my llama strings me up by my toenails uh, i don't know no see i don't think we've got anything else the llama likes here maybe that I'm trying to think if I've got the tea recipe yet. I will buy some more of these though. Eventually they stop, she stops selling them uh, for a little while and then, then you're stuck without pumpkin pie to give to Emily. All right. I <laughs> know we have a bunch of stuff and we need to go train our llama because we have these races coming up and we're not going to be doing very well in them if we don't if we don't remember to train the llama so i can put the cumin into the into the llama's feed bin and we'll see if the llama gets happier on cumin is it my oh, it's my birthday oh my gosh i forgot man raven you're as bad as i am in real life i forget my birthday in real life as well all right i guess we're gonna pause Thank you. We're going to pause and see. Um... Wow, and see what we. Wow, thank you. So as you as you become friends with the townsfolk, you um, they gift you with things, and 
it's it's just really sweet. So um, I guess I haven't I haven't been doing a great job of keeping up my friendships here, but I have I've been forgetting to fertilize my trees too. I have um, I have made a few friends. All right, we don't want to have a grumpy apricot tree. Let's make it a happy apricot tree. I should have bought my fertilizer while I was at Granny Sophie's. We don't want a grumpy llama either. We're going to have to look to that. Let's harvest that. All right, now we should be able to make uh, have a happy apple tree. That's what we want. All right, and we want our Cristella tree. Nice, we have a ruby and a sapphire out of that one. Let's apply some fertilizer. Next time we'll do better. I'm pretty sure it was a grumpy Cristella tree a minute ago. We, we Next time we're over at Granny Sophie's to deliver a bucket, we need to... Um, we need to get some more fertilizer. So this is when you get your fertilizer tank in and your and your fertilizer matting in. This is what this is the time whoops you you um, get saved. So what we'll do is I'll just fertilize the zealora tree and it will become a happy zealora tree whether it wants to or not. There we go. All right, let's grab some dried apple slices. It's already at max capacity. That's the one that requires aroma apples. This one requires ordinary apples, and I was out of ordinary apples, so we'll just... Yeah, ordinary apples. Takes two ordinary apples as opposed to one. Wow, the llama is not happy with me. All right, let us see if we can talk to the llama. I know I'm stuck under my house. This is usually a good spot to talk to the llama from. I could be wrong though. No, there we go. One happy llama. Oh, well. I'm assuming it's a happy llama. We'll find out when we check the stable and the feeding bin. Little love hearts flying. Alright. Let's do the feeding first. All right, so it prefers whatever else I had in there over whatever whatever I, uh, aroma apples. It prefers aroma apples over everything else. All right, let's add the cumin in. We'll see if it likes cumin. Ah, uh, no, cancel out of that. Right click for the stable. All right, it's it's now only you know a little bit unimpressed with me. It is hungry though. Uh, its loyalty has improved. Let's train it for endurance. Um, there we go. So I can't have it for another 10 hours now. Uh, and so I should be training my llama twice a day in order to get it ready for the races. Man, it's gotten dark so quick. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go up to the top of the... Not the top of the Bassanio Falls, but we're going to go up to the Bassanio Lift Stop. And then we're going to jump off the cliff and go fishing. I know, I've got to try and remember to get my talisman out of the out of the crafting box. I just don't remember putting it in there. We are going to fish until we drop and then we're going to have another day. This is a, a less a less arduous run than the run from the city. There's our fishing spot. I know you should see me in other games where I'm not allowed to jump off cliffs. I'm at a complete loss at that point. All right. What did I say? 200, 200 Goliath or 12 King Goliath. And we got a ways to go. And that's and that's selling them at 100% and no less. All right. There's our, there's our fish for making special salmon fried rice. I think, though, I need to get coriander for that. So I'm going to have to go visit the island before I can try cooking it. So I've got to remember not to sell that. Sam likes her special fried rice. All right. This goliath is worth two. So we only need to catch 100 emperor goliath to make 60 grand. 
I should be buttering Gust up a little bit more and the mare. So, so in the morning I need to make Gust and the mare um, part of my gift giving run. And I should probably drop in and see Ginger. Apart from the fact she likes talking um, and company, uh, she's also, you don't earn a lot from gifting her. So I should find something maybe that she likes a little bit and just do that. But these, the Goliath take forever. All right, 2057. How many is that? That's two Goliath and one Emperor. I mean the best, actually I could make a bunch of stuff as well. But then I would be using resources that I know I'm going to need because the stuff that you, that brings the best results needs carbon steel. Uh, so that might not work. We're also going to have to go and get some, what do you call those things? Some of that bloodstone because we need it for um, we need it to make cores, industrial cores, which we're going to need to make uh, our industrial furnaces with so that we can replace um, so we can replace, what do you call it? The, the little burners. So yeah. So I should probably start by making the small burners first, the um, the civil furnaces, and then we should make some industrial furnaces as as we get some more time for it. I've lost count of how many Goliath I've got. We're, we're not we won't have 200 in one night's worth of fishing though. So um, all that will matter will be counting the kings as we catch them. So yeah, so gifting will drop the price of expanding the property. Um, but we're going to have to just keep going. There we go. I know. These are only worth 30. Do you know how many of these? We would have to catch 2,000 of those in order to make in order to make our 60,000. Uh, so for those of you who are curious as to how I do the fishing, it's basically lots of little taps on the left mouse button. Don't let the red circle on the inside touch the outside of it. So you don't hold don't hold the left mouse button down. Just keep tapping it. Um, I also, when I first hook a fish, it's just a tap because sometimes the fish take off and put strain on your rod and turn that entire fishing rod red, and then the line snaps and you lose them. So it's a quick tap and then lots of little taps and keep the circle over the fish. So apologies if you already knew that, but just for those who are new to fishing in Porsche, that's that's how you fish. Well, that's how I fish. Well, hopefully it will help you guys as well. You'll also notice that outer circle gets smaller the closer the fish uh, gets to you. So the number in the middle of the screen is how far away from you the fish is. And as you as you tap you can bring it in so as tempting as it is to just hold the left mouse button down don't do it especially with goliaths because you'll lose them yep ah i mean you might lose them anyway but um what did we say 200 goliaths or 12 kingfish we haven't seen a kingfish today actually you don't have to tap for golden salmon once you've got the better rod um, you do have to tap with the early rod, but once you've got the better rod, you can just hold the, the left mouse button down and pull them in, provided you keep the circle over them. I know. There used to be a time when I didn't want to catch the goliaths, and I just wanted to catch the golden salmon, and I would always be hooking goliaths. Now I want to catch the Goliaths and all I'm hooking is golden salmon. 
I swear, the game is psychic. No, that's not true. There's an algorithm and we just haven't tipped to Goliath country yet. Oops, yeah, don't hold the mouse button down for that one. And sometimes you just got to stop tapping until that red circle shrinks. Oops. Tricky beggars. 350, we don't have to catch 200, it's a little bit less. Uh, 700 for two. So 700 for two. 10 would be three and a half thousand. 20 would be 7,000. Oh, my math doesn't want to work today. What's 60 divided by seven? Seven eights are 56. Seven nines are 63. Now, why did I work that out? I don't know. Is that because it's... Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I could do it when it was round. I just... The, the extra 50 G has is, is got me. Actually, it's not that hard, I suppose. So if, if I said 200 was worth 60,000... So, 5 times, 50 times 200 is 1,000. No. Why did I do that? So yeah, so you still need to catch close to 200. It's just, yeah. I like these fish. I used to hate them, but now I, now I've got the hang of catching them. It's it's not so bad. It's getting late. No, I have not caught 200 Goliath yet. It's not that late. fish yes like I said we only need to catch 12 of these um mind you they're hard to catch so I don't know how successful we're gonna be yeah I'm not even bothering to tap at that point when he starts zipping around I, I'll wait till he stops and then tap again all right I think we just covered the cost of today in, when we bought worms. These things are so tricky. Oh, there we go. All right, we have one more day of Porsche. In this episode let's see how we go if you're enjoying it so far please hit like if you want to see more please hit subscribe uh, let's go and see what our fish are worth i forgot to check the price do we have mail oh, we have an important letter oh yes more story stuff is happening research results oh a recycling machine thank you and from albert Hey Raven, how are you doing after that adventure in the old mineshaft? Must have been fun, huh? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I got a new job for you. You see, we're in need of a water tower and a charge station for our vehicle pit stop. Do you think that you could build one for me and install it? I've attached the diagrams in the mail. If you're busy, I can just ask Higgins. You can ask Higgins, but I would rather do it if I can. Thank you. Alright, uh, we definitely need that, big, that other big burner. Oh... And a bigger yard. See, this is why this is why I usually have four of these. You know what? I think we're just going to bite the bullet and do four if we can. Um, all right. Before we get too excited, let's just pop our fishing rod away. Oh, I have. Okay, now those two things are for the charge station. Hey, Hello. Mr. Ack, how are you doing? Oh, la la, Aww. my dear Lara. Where... I wish we could help you find her, Mr. Ack. Um. 
I, I can only offer you a pot in consolation. You're welcome. And I forgot to get my talisman out. I know, I'm going to try and be a lot better about this. So where did I put them? Let's sort all. Right, let's start up with our clothing boxes because it, oh no, our badges, chips and weapons boxes. Here we go. Do we have any badges and chips? No. Clothing. I'm out of space in my clothing box. Uh, and I'm out of space in, uh oh. All right, where did I put my talisman? There they are. Okay, that means I do have a little bit of space in my clothing box. Oh no, are you telling me these things don't stack? You are telling me they don't stack. You know what, we're going to just go sell all of these hats because they're driving me crazy. Radio, that'll be fine. Actually, you know what, we could sell that as well. It's not like we're going to go back to it, is it? All right, let's ignore clothing. We're going to sell those excess bits and bobs. The rubber belt needs to go away, as does the cloth. All right. Farming. Did I? I collected poop. Ah, oh, the poop would have been automatically stacked, though. That's good. Fishing. Uh, I'm going to try to sell my fish unless the prices are shonky, in which case we will... Oops, we will do stuff. Let's check for ingredients. Nope, we're good. Actually, there's something for my farming. Completely missed the uh, the chili seeds. Right. Fishing, foraging. Foraging for wood. Nope, we're good for that. Ingredients, all full. Mining, unprocessed. Okay, process. Let's dump a few things in here that we that we don't want to be junking around with this. Yeah. Relics. I don't think I've got any more relics from the last run. No, we're good. So most of what I've got holding up my backpack now, actually there so is something else I want to put into farming. Because I don't want to carry fertilizer around the countryside with me for ages. Alright, now we're good. Let's just sort everything up. Okay, excellent. Hey Chiba! Hey Sonia! Ooh, I see an exclamation mark. You're gonna so have to go see what that's about. I love it! More, more adventure! Alright, we have an A-class for three rubber belts at 111.23. And 102, three waterproof cloth. I will take that. It's just a little bit more rep. So if we can get the commissions that give the most rep, we'll be fine. Now I'm regretting putting the thing away. I don't know, back and forward, back and forward. Let's go. We were looking for our cloth. There it is. It also the other thing with waterproof cloth is it tends to be one of the the best selling commissions or the best paying commissions, uh, and it becomes quite a favourite at a certain stage of the game. Let's talk to Django. Hey, Django. Hi. I heard the mayor were building a new settlement over on the southern bank of the Porsche River. I'm sure we'll get more patrons soon. Oh, that would be awesome. Hey. I have in the meantime got your waterproof cloth. I'm sure you will. Nice. Okay, and let's go see what this is about. This looks like an Alice mission. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's another one. Oh, it's you. Yeah. Hello. Hi. You seem distracted. What's up? Well, I'm trying to work on my next story, but I've got no motivation. It's a classic tale with a hero and a princess. I have the general outline, but it's lacking that special spark. I'm not sure what's missing. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? Actually, that's a great idea. Uh -oh. Yes, you can help. Meet me in the woods anytime before 16 o'clock today and I'll explain more. Sure. 1600. All right. The, there was a, another exclamation mark. All right, let's go grab this one. 
looks like something's happening out in the forest there there's an orange circle and everything actually that might be the the meeting with hey dr Zhu. oh okay hi thanks for coming here you're welcome okay when the story begins our hero is just a simple laborer try collecting some wood and stone it will help me really picture the hero in my head right i can do that uh wood okay there's some stone and wood there's some wood head back to alice that was great i'm seeing it already next our hero meets the princess i'll stand in for her quick say something heroic princess i'll protect you with my life <laughs> that was good next the town is attacked by monsters the hero goes out alone and fights him off in the name of the princess. Meet me in the field. Okay, I think. Yeah, there's our orange circle up there. Let's go. I know, I gotta chase after Dr. Zhu in a minute. Hopefully I don't miss that mission either. Let's um here we are. Alright, this is the big climax. Our hero goes out fearlessly and fights against impossible odds. I want to see you take down a few monsters. Get out there and do it, hero. Think of the princess. Uh. Okay. I think those are too far away. You'll you'll know when you're too far away. She'll yell at you. One. How many do I get to do? defeat? Three. Okay. There's got to be another one in here somewhere. Wait, I thought I saw one. Oh, she can't see me. Can see me now. Okay. Alright, that is three monsters. Where'd she go? I don't see how she can see anything from down there. She needs to come a little higher up. Wow, that was so exciting. My hands are still shaking. <laughs> My mind is brimming with ideas. But first, it's time for the final scene. The hero returns from battle victorious and gives the princess a flower. It has to be a bellflower. That's the flower of true love. I'm oh. not sure if there are any near here, so let's use a wildflower as a stand-in. All right. That... A wildflower. Oh, pretty. Here you go. Ah, so dreamy. This is perfect. You know, you make a pretty good hero yourself. Thank you so much for your help. Now I have to get home and start writing it down before I forget it all. Who knows? I might even call the hero... Oh, very sweet. Okay. Now, pretty sure I saw a Dr. G with a... Ooh, poop. Mission. Mission, not poop. Oh, man. But while we're here, we are going to gather up this. I need to also see what that um, arrow is about. Let's just check it on our map. Oh, okay. The arrow is about these. That's okay. Dr. Zhu has returned to his his home in the hill. It might be quicker for me just to run across this bridge here and grab the Didi up to the... Um, grab the Didi up to the stop outside the iron mines. And then what we'll do is we'll jog down to the, to the, to the, uh, the centre. And we'll just see what Dr. Zhu wants. Let's go this way. All right, so we, we've started our Alice missions. It took a little bit to get there. And, you know, I forgot to give that girl her necklace. Ah, oh, man. There we go. All right. Fear not. We're not going mining. We're going to go see Dr. Zhu, who's lurking in his office. All right. Ah, uh, Phyllis. Hello. Hi, I was not teasing you this morning when I had a gift. I just left it in my trunk. Here you go. It really is a nice present. Thank you. You're welcome. She's wearing her alternate costume. It looks really cute on her. Hey. Dr. Zhu. Have you seen the railing above the school recently? Oh, uh, no. It's completely worn out. I'm always afraid that someone will break an arm one day when walking by that place. Can you please fix it? 
That would really give me some peace of mind. Thanks. Sure, no worries, Doc. Now, do you like talisman? I can't remember. Thank you for giving me a present. He likes them well enough. All right. So we're just going to start, like I said, as we can. We're going to improve our relationships with all the people around town. All right, that little orange sparky thing that I can't remember. I need. Oh, I don't need to. I need steel plate and copper wire. Let's um, let's head home, and um, I think it's quicker if I just bounce across the rooftops. There we go. Actually, while we're here, let's drop in and give the mayor a tea table. Uh, or not, as the case may be. Oh, it's one o'clock. He'll be at home having lunch. I should have, you know, stopped in when I was bouncing over his roof. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll duck back and see the mayor. In the meantime, what we'll do is we'll grab some steel plate. Steel plate. Man, that's expensive. Emily, 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 Emily. Emily. Man. Hey. Hey. Ah, fruit salad. I haven't got any of that on me, but I do have your granny's pumpkin pie. Here you go. smells too good to eat. Uh, please don't waste it. It would be better if you ate it. All right. I know, I haven't made the fruit salad for Sanway yet either. Let's get some more hard aluminium cooking. Uh, that's pretty good. I need to... What was I here for? Steel plate and copper wire. And I haven't done anything with my... with my. Oh, and I haven't sold stuff. Whoa! So much to do and so little time. We are doing our processed mining stuff. Steel plate. And copper wire, I think, is in the crafting box. That's clothing. There it is. All right, we'll grab that. What else do I need? Water tower and charge station. Let's just check and see what they, they require. I'm pretty sure we, we need a little bit more. Oh, wait a minute. That's the recycling machine. Industrial cutter, carbon steel bar, hardened clay. Okay, we could make one of those. All right. Copper plate, yes. Large pipes. I need to make two more. Aluminium plate. That requires stainless. And hard aluminium. All right. So we, we have enough hard aluminium, but not enough stainless. Industrial furnace. Advanced engine. Hard aluminium. Large pipe. All right, so we're good. We're good for everything here. We just need to get that other that other burner up and running. So taking priority will be this: charcoal, industrial core, steel plate, hardened clay, and steel shell. Charcoal, industrial core, steel plate, hardened clay, and steel shell. All right. Charcoal. Steel plate. So there's my steel plate. There's my charcoal. It was an industrial furnace, wasn't it? I need to make one of those as well. So on top of that, I'm going to need... Okay, those are valves. We don't need valves, we need pipes, and I'm pretty sure I had them here. Right, so we're going to make some more large pipes. Uh, we needed these as well. And we need the clay for something. I know, all of the things that I need are, are now muddled up in my head. We're going to need some more of those. This is why I didn't turn all of my stuff into steel plate. All right. Let's just zippity doo -dah back this way. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Charcoal. Industrial core. Steel plate. Hardened clay. Let's go grab some steel shells. I need to make four of them. I 
Wait a minute. I think I'm muddling something up. Hang on. I have a bad feeling about this. No, I, I'm not. I need to make one more of those anyway. So, it's my electric furnace. Uh, industrial furnace. All right, marble planks, steel plate, and industrial cores by two. Right, we're going to need a ton more bloodstone. So first things first, let us make some more of these. I can make one industrial furnace. All right, and, but I won't be able to make it unless I have enough of this. So let's grab steel shells. We're going to craft three of these. Then before I forget what I need them for and go hyper and make something I, I needed later, let's grab this. We need to make one more of these so that we can have it working on our aluminium. Ideally we need th two more of these, but for now, let's just get one more done and running. Alright, charcoal, clay, industrial core, steel plate, and what have I forgotten? Shell. I'm visual. I, if I see it, I can remember it. It's just, yeah. All right, let's get that down. Ooh. Right, let's get that down there. We are going to get that thing crafting stainless aluminium. Right, that's going to take a little bit to catch up, but it'll be fine once we get it going. Uh, now, we need, on top of that, all right. industrial furnace and we have everything else including the large pipe so let's get an industrial furnace made just for this so we can get the charge station up and running so we'll build ah no 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 sorry let's retrieve all of that actually no you know what industrial furnace advanced engine hard aluminium large pipe and steel plate Right, that's taken everything out of that. Uh, industrial engine we need. Do we have one? It's an advanced engine. All right, so we need an industrial engine. Be up in our crafting. Bits and bobs. Uh, yep. All right, let's just see what I've... Sorry, large pipe. Let's get that out of the way. Alrighty. What else did I need? Advanced engine, industrial furnace, hard aluminium and steel plate. Okay, advanced engine, industrial furnace. Advanced engine, industrial furnace, steel plate, and hard aluminium, which is going to be over here because I stuck it away. Alrighty, let's get this build. So this is half of our commission done. four and five no six six there we go and seven whoa okay let's grab that that's half of the mission done now we are going to need some more industrial engines though. So I'm pretty sure we can't do the charge station until we have the aluminium plate. Yeah. So, 
everything else we've got no we need to get four more large pipes let's get them up and running so we might as well just have everything ready um, as best we can large pipes why can't I make it I need bronze pipe why can't I make that because I have to grind it all right let's get the bronze pipe running I, I know I always hold off making uh, the bronze pipe but we're gonna have to just do that ouch um, all right so we can't do that yet that's fine all right we have two of them I need to make as many more of these as I can I need about uh, what did I say five more I know I probably didn't say five more but I do need five more let's just run around and just pick everything up that we can we are gonna need some more charcoal I know ow it's gonna make a mess of my timber again look at that rude just gonna get as much of our carbon steel bars up and running as we can steel plate I know I don't want to make any more but I'm gonna to have to all right I've got one lot of charcoal going I don't think I'm using 50 a day so we should be right to just keep everything on one on one burner on for that there we go okay all right it's doing its thing but like I said these are slow so um yeah all right so to pick things up you hit it with your axe so it's green and then it goes to blue and then it picks up and it ends up in your in your box uh, right so I'm just gonna have to pick these up and move them actually we might put it All right, I'm gonna pick that up and we're gonna stow it because I think what I'm gonna do with that is we're gonna sell it this we're going to pick up and we're going to move to there then we're just going to grab and I might actually sell the conductive wooden flooring as well we'll just pick this thing up uh, and we're going to move it here and that way I can fit another one beside it Alright, uh, I may have missed a bunch of people I could sell stuff to. Let's go and let's go and do a bit of selling now. Uh, I need to also deal with that. Hey Emily, how you doing? I have gifted you today, okay. Hi, you're here as well. What a coincidence. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh man. While we're in here, we might as well fix the handrail. Let's go and see if see if there's a decent prices still occurring uh, here. 108% that's still decent enough uh, we are going to sell our fish first but not all of our golden salmon so let us go for this all of them alrighty keeping those we're going to make a bunch of special fried rice All right, and I want to sell all four of these. I know, I don't know what the restaurant's doing looking for these, but I don't really care. There we go. Okay. Ooh, attack... Oh no, you've got to carry it on you. That's fine. One of those is going in the museum. Okay, I think... Yeah, we've sold as much as we can. Alright, that's that's made our cash situation better. Hi Toby, how you doing? With that bridge done, I can make my way to the desert for my adventures. Uh-huh. 
I've got to plan this out with Jack. Maybe we'll visit an oasis or fight against the desert hoppers. Uh, Toby? Hi! <laughs> That's not a good I idea. I saw Dolly throw her homework in the fountain earlier. I'm going to use that excuse from now on. Oh, man. Uh, right. You, you like apples. Do I have any? No. Okay, I'm going to have to gonna have to grab some apples for him. Let us go and talk to Gust. And by talk, I mean he's in the restaurant. We might as well feed him. Hey. Um? How you doing? My master Verna in Atara was a great architect. I love it. He's so passionate about her. Alrighty. An inspiration. Looks like you spent some thought on this. I I did. Dr. Zhu. Ginger, how you doing? I heard there's an abandoned mine over at the edge of the Ufala Desert. It was one of the mines established during the Great Migration south of Etha. There are rumors that there are monsters in there. Ah, uh, yeah, there are. Hello. Hi. I just finished reading a book called My Way Home. It was so good. I cried for the entire second half of the book. Aww. Uh, I don't have a book for you. Oh man, I don't even know what she likes. Let's let's try her with an umbrella. Thank you. It's very nice. You're next very welcome. I know, next time just go on a walk with me. I would, but that option is never given to us, Ginge. Never. We also should be catching catfish so we can make friends with Presley. Unless you want to spend a lot of time shooting for golden toads. Uh, let us go and fix... Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hey! How you doing? Special salmon fried rice. That's right. I'm Goodbye. supposed to be making fruit salad and special salmon fried rice. I know. I'll get my head together one day. Let us go up here and fix this handrail for Dr. Zhu. He's, we can deliver it too. We'll just fix that. There we go. All right. This should make the dog happy. There's Phyllis, Albert. What do we get for Albert? Asteria pots. That's right. Hey, Albert. Like my new... Uh, a hat. I got a new hat. Cool. Like Hi. my new look. The hat. I got a new hat. As a builder, there's a lot of things we can collaborate on. Keep in touch. Uh, okay. And I think... Now he likes talisman, but I think he likes Asteria pots more. He'd probably... That's got iron in it. How thoughtful of you. I really like it. You're really welcome. Uh, Russo. Hey. Hey. How you doing? I have another coffee table for you. Thank you so much. I really like it. Excellent. You're really welcome. Did we talk? We did not Gail talk. took care of me when no one else did. You have a life dead to him. You, you know, he probably will never hold you to that. Man, I hope he's not holding you to that now. That would be annoying. Let's go and um, find Dr. Zhu and tell him that his handrail is fixed. And he should stop being a fusspot about it. Hi. All done fixing the handrail? Yeah. Thank you so much. I was going to fix it myself if no one helped, but you obviously did a much better job than me. Have, have we had that discussion on how you are with trying to make things, Dr. Xu? Because I vaguely remember you not being terribly good at it. All right, we have done all of that. Um, we're getting our research results. No, we got our research results. Oh, no, that means I need another 50 discs. Where are my discs? I have I have spent all my discs. Oh my, I, we definitely need more discs. I need to go do that. But we also need some more bloodstones. So what are we going to do tonight? Let's let's refuel everything while we can. My goodness, we have 115 of these now. We're almost almost halfway to 250. Matter of fact, I think we should probably go for 300 for those things. So uh, redo some of these. We'll see if we've got any um I know it's been a crafting kind of day today. I like it.
What am I going to use all the glass for? Uh, you ask a good question. It's worth 12. And sand is worth not a lot. <laughs> yeah, see, that's that's something I don't know. Let's um, let's just add some more in here. All right. So we need to make. Okay, we need five of those, which means I need how much? How many bloodstones do I need? Ten. No, oh, we need five of those, which means we need ten of those little pink bucket things. Industrial cores, which means we need. 30 bloodstone. Fine, let's go get it. So that's what we'll do for the rest of the night. We're going to go collect some bloodstone. Uh, there are several places. I don't know how far we're going to get. We won't get it out of these things. Is that my axe? What? What? Raven? It's rock. We don't use axes on rocks. It's not good for them. Okay. So bloodstone is typically, if you need it, uh, you get it out of those rocks, but it's best gotten out of these big rocks here. Uh, we might have to make a trip into the collapsed wasteland to guarantee a supply, but what I'm going to do is just clear out each patch of rock one at a time, just to make sure that I don't miss any. There's also some over on um, Amber Island that we can get. And this one. There we go. There's a little bit out of that one. So the grey rocks, you'll occasionally get some. Uh, but you'll also get them out of those. Let's just grab our bloodstone. And now we can keep tabs on how many we've got. So you usually get one or two of each. And it all depends to a little bit on... Um, what you've selected in your character traits because some of them will give you a better chance of better drops. Alright, we're at 6. We only have 24 more to go. If I say it quick, it won't make me freak out. And again, there's another one. There's another two, three. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Alright, we only need 21 now. So we're also getting a little bit of copper out of this and little bits and pieces of other things. But um, like I said, it's one of the only ways to get bloodstone is to be pretty persistent with your pickaxe along here. Okay, 20 more to go. That hasn't taken us as long as I thought it would. We have not got a lot of sapphires, I don't think, out of here this time. Or topaz. All right, that's 11. Okay, so we are going to... It's midnight. All right, we're going to crash out near Papa Bear's. I don't think the pan bats are going to eat us. We should be pretty fine. But uh, if we can clear... I don't know how much we're going to get clear. But if we can clear most of a few of these rocks from out this way, then we'll be into the collapsed wastelands and a little bit more. Uh, bloodstone sooner. So we might do the collapsed wastelands next episode and then we might go through Amber Island as well. Uh, and I'm hoping by that stage we should have enough enough stainless aluminium to make our to make our stainless steel plate. It's also going to be Friday so I think we might be we might not be doing that. We may actually be attending some races with our llama. Alright, we have 16 bloodstone to go. This is um, not as good a stretch for bloodstone. It's pretty good for topaz though. As you can see, we're halfway there. I know it's 2 a.m. We've got we've got like an hour. 
So we're not going to get all of our bloodstone today, but we will probably get the rest of it next time we start digging. Hopefully. Depending on uh, what we can get. 16, we are. Try not to hit the pan bats when you're mining. Unless you feel like pan bat wings, but I think we've got enough pan bat wings as well, so we don't really need to go terrorizing them. Oh no. Sorry. I did not mean to do that little pan bat. I am really sorry. Of course, once you've injured it, you've got to put it out of its misery, so not a lot you can do. You know, we, we might make our 30. No, nope, we won't. On that note, I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And I'll check you later. Take care out there.